I thought to myself the other day, I don't get spooked enough. I wish there were more ways for me to get spooked. Well, luckily, a way has come up for me and you and everyone to get spooked. Hello everyone, welcome to Gent Reads Creepy Stories. Today I'm going to be talking about something that I just saw, uh, which is pretty interesting. Um, so, if you guys have uh, followed my channel, you'll know I read creepy stories on this channel quite a bit. Um, and often they're creepy text stories, and often, and by often I mean 95% of the time, they're all from one person, don't turn around, or one channel, don't turn around. Um, and they're normally text stories. Um, normally I do the creepy school bus series, but I do some other ones. Um, but anyway, I follow Don't Turn Around's uh, YouTube channel pretty closely. Um, and recently, Don't Turn Around posted something about this website. So I got it up here. Okay, now this website is, it's gonna be in the description below. It's don'tturnaround.com. I'm not advertising for, I mean, I am sort of advertising for Don't Turn Around, but I haven't been asked to do this or anything. I just thought, uh, you know, I do so many creepy stories from Don't Turn Around. I might as well check out the website as well, which th they just posted. So I assume it's got a bunch of the stuff, like some stuff we've already seen, like creepy text from the babysitter. Is this just gonna be a video? Or is it gonna be like the texts? I don't want to spook myself. Um, what's going on? What is this? Oh, it's loading. If I go start reading, what happens? Tap to continue. Turn on audio for full experience. I don't want to. Oh my goodness, you can actually... Wow, okay. This is interesting. All right. So you can actually read the text as text on the thing. It's not like a video. You can go at your own pace. That's interesting. It looks like there's also like new stuff. So there's these like new releases. Um, it rides at night. Uh, yeah, so like if I was to go it rides at night, this I assume this isn't a, a text story and this is just a story, right? I don't know. Because he's known for the text stories, but I think he does do regular stories. Okay, let's see. Turn on audio for full experience. I don't, oh my gosh. Okay, it's actually a real story. So here we go. I'll, I'll, I'll read it. I'll read at, at the very least. I'll read some of this. I may not read all of it. We'll see. Um, but I'll start reading it. And I turned off the audio because uh, I don't want to be. I, I don't like being jump scared by audio. <laughs> so uh, so yeah. But anyway, um, what's the hold here for options? Oh, interesting. Okay, cool. This is a well-made website. All right. The road here is really dark. Dad, you're not texting and driving, are you? No, I'm using speech to text. Whatever I say gets turned into text for you to read. Well, that honestly makes sense. Uh, more sense than most uh, most of these uh, things sometimes. Or could I call you? Or I could call you? Sarah's show is on really loud. It's easier for me to text. No worries. When I get home tomorrow, we can go fishing if you want. Yes, thanks. How far away are you? I'm still in Arizona, driving through the desert. I've been to the desert on a horse with no name. They don't have many lights on the roads. Are you ta taking one of your shortcuts? Kind of. I haven't seen another car for a long time, but I should get to the freeway soon. Sounds creepy. It would only be creepy if I broke down. But it's a new car. Oops, I broke down. <laughs> Nearly full up with gas, so there's nothing to worry about. I see another vehicle up ahead. It's the first tail lights I've seen in forever. A big 16-wheeler. Hmm? Funny, I honked at it and E is how the app translated it. Why did you honk at it? Because it's driving so slow. The road isn't very wide and every time I try to pass the truck it veers to the side. The driver might be really tired and falling asleep at the wheel. That's what happens with big rigs. They drive for so long and far without sleeping. Be careful. Don't worry, I'm staying far back. We're on a dirt road, so it's kicking up a lot of dust, making it hard to see. My wipers are on anyway because of all the bugs. This is going to be a spooky thing. Bugs? They're flying around and keep pelting the windshield, splatting onto it. Maybe turn off the lights and the bugs won't come towards the car. D don't do that. <laughs> ha. I dipped my lights for a moment and it went so dark I couldn't see. It was like I was in space. I can't do it again in case the driver up front thinks I'm flashing him. 
Although he's really gonna, he's going really slow and should pull over to let me pass. Why wouldn't he let you pass? I don't know. Some people just like that. You know, some people are nice, like you and your sister. Others are mean, probably because they had mean parents growing up. So yeah, some people don't like you passing them in in the car. Like you'll be driving and they're going like quite a lot slower than the speed limit. So you go, okay, I'll just overtake them. And you try to overtake them, and they're like, oh no, you don't. So uh, yeah, it happens. Like the bullies at school? Yeah, we'll talk about them when I get home. I'll teach you some moves so you can protect yourself. Thanks, Dad. I wish it wasn't so late. And there's... Oh, wait, hold on. My... My... Ugh, my headset was stuck. My headset was stuck in my chair. I wish it wasn't so late. That There's this really cool bridge about 50 meters away. 50 miles away. 50 meters and 50 miles. That's a big difference. That passes over a canyon. The drop-off is really, really scary. It would have been fun to show you a photo. Huh? This truck driver just signaled for me to overtake, but when I tried, he swerved into me. That's not nice. No, it's not. I'm trying to get close to him to get his license plates, but he keeps breaking dangerously. Hmm, it's covered in mud. I don't like that he's making you slow down so much. Does that mean you'll be later getting home? Don't worry, I see lights from the freeway up ahead, so I'll be able to pass him. Idiot. Screw you. Sorry. Ignore whatever you heard just now. Was that you yelling at him as he drove by? Yeah. He's behind me now. His truck is weird looking. Weird how? It has like a claw on top of it. Claw? Like a, the claw machines at the fair. When you reach in and try to grab the prizes? I love those. Yeah, they're fun. <laughs> Not the point, kid. Not the point right now. I haven't seen the type of truck before. It's um, just weird. It's like half crane, half truck. Oh, man. Actually, wait. No, not not man at all. That doesn't, it doesn't work. Dust. More dust on your windshield? Are you back on the freeway? Dust is a saying, meaning I've left him in the dust. Wait, what? Has anyone- Does anyone say dust when they're meaning I left him in the dust? Why don't they just say I left him in the dust? Did they shorten it to dust? Is that a thing? I've never heard that before. Is that like, did this person- Did the writer make that up or is that really a thing? Anyway, um, can't see him anymore. I'm, I'm trying to like adjust my mic so it's like, you know, reasonable. So it's reasonable. Okay, ready? 30 minutes later. I'm pulling over at a rest stop so I can call you guys to say goodnight. Okay. 10 minutes later. Are you still up? Yeah, just brushing teeth. I came out of the restroom and that truck is in parking lot. Hello? Hello? I'm here, Dad. Sorry, I'm still on speech to text. I was at the truck looking for the driver, but he's not around. Weird. The windows are tinted so you can't see in. No one else is around. That's so weird. And he wasn't in the restroom. So he might be in there. Asleep. Bizarre. Oh well. Getting back in my car. Huh. Hmm? As I pulled away from the parking lot, his lights turned on. He must have been in there. Then why didn't he answer you? No idea. I wanted to ask him what his claw thing was for on his truck. I'll look up when I get home. I think this guy's a nutcase. Moron. Idiot. Hmm. <laughs> what's up? What? What? Uh, uh, what's with the smiley face? He's tailgating really close, honking at me now to pull over. Jeez, what's his problem? Freeway is empty. Four different lanes, and he's in my lane. I switch lanes, and he switched lanes also, copying me. What the? He has his full beams on, blinding me. Wait, he has extra lights on. I'm telling for him to overtake, but he isn't. Riding so close to my bumper. Super dangerous. Are you okay, Dad? There's a town in 10 miles. After the suspension bridge. Don't think there are any other exits until then. Once I get there, I'll pull off. What the? Oh my god. Dad? No, what the? Ah! Dad, should I get Mum? Put me down! Now! Put me down! What? He's getting picked up. Dad? 911, what's your emergency? I'm on the freeway and this big rig hoisted my car into the air. Sir? It has a claw on it that gripped my car and lifted it off the road. I'm not sure I understand, sir. You need a tow? We're going about 80 miles an hour. I'm being carried next to his truck by a claw. Whose truck, sir? I don't know who he is. Dad? You have to help me. Please. What the? Are you there? Daniel, are you there? Oh, God. If you get these texts and 16-wheeler followed... This 16-wheeler followed me, picked up my car with his claw. I'm in the truck now. It has a massive door on its side, which opened and closed quickly. I'm out of my car. Hey, hey, please let me out. Looking for a way out. Hoping to find emergency release handle, but there isn't one. 
I've checked all over. I don't think you're getting these texts. There's padding on the sort of on the sort on the of some sort on the walls. Copper or something is under it. Maybe some jamming phone signal. Oh, what is that? Oh god, there's blood here on the floor. Dried up, but it's definitely blood. Uh, no, claw crushed my car. I would have been dead if I was in it. What? This is crazy. Daniel and Sarah, I love you guys. If anything happens to me, something's gonna happen to you. Daddy loves you, okay? We're stopping. I'm gonna keep quiet and hide. The minute he opens the door, I'm making a run for it. <sighs> Floor tilting up. Oh my god! He parked it over suspension bridge. Dad? He's tilting floor toward the drop. Oh, these ones are getting delivered. Car sliding off. Dad? Oh, my, oh god, Daniel, Sarah, Sarah, I'm not gonna make it. I can't hold on. Dad, you're scaring me. I love you. When I turned 18 this year, I was finally allowed to see these texts, which were with my dad's body. I had moved to Arizona and spent every waking hour driving, trying to find the truck with the claw. So far, it has eluded me. I'm not gonna give up. Wherever he is, I won't stop searching until I find him and make him pay for what he did to my dad and my family. Please keep a lookout when you're driving. I know it drives at night, but it could be anywhere in any state. Daniel Fisher. Wow. Wow. Okay, well... <laughs> I think what we've seen is an interesting story in a new format. It's still creepy text stories. It's still a text story, but it's on a website, which is pretty cool. And you don't have to watch it in the videos. Like, uh, it's cool. It's cool. I am so open to doing it like this in the future because I can go at my own pace. I don't have to pause the video and stuff like that. That's pretty cool. I think that's really cool. So well done. Don't turn around. Um, and everyone else. Thanks for watching this wonderful video. If you enjoyed it, let me know in the comments below. Make sure to give the video a like, it really helps me out. And make sure to subscribe for daily content. Every single day there's a new video and it's worth sticking around for. So thanks for watching guys, and as always, stay perfect, stay positive.